Hey there everyone, welcome back. I promised you a very special video today, and I am here to deliver on that video today. And you see, in the past, I've always covered my favorites of the year, favorites of each book, yada yada. It always included some kind of template, and then I would pass it off to you guys, and you know, we'd like look at them together. Uh, I'm changing things a little bit, because frankly, I'm here to innovate, okay? So while I will be showing you my favorites of book seven today, here, now, it goes bigger. This is the Favies Fay Awards for 2023. All book seven entries, 11 different categories, I think. And you can fill it out too. And then I will have a live stream where we go over the results uh, sometime down the road, probably after the first of the year, something like that. Uh, I wanted to do things much more grand <laughs> than I was actually able to this year. So uh, I already have plans for next year, uh, things that I'm going to improve and things that I'm going to change. But this is how we are going to do things moving forward, because frankly, I'm sick of templates. Okay, I'm not a I'm not a graphics guy. I'm not an editor. All right, it's just me. I'm just here, and what I know is a Google form. Okay, plus uh, it's it's gonna be a, like more people are gonna be able to. The data will be better. Okay, I'm a data guy. I'm a numbers guy, and that may not seem accurate to you, but it's true. So let's go over my favorites. I'm gonna walk you through the form. Uh, and then I'm gonna link you to the YouTube community post, which has this link in the link of this just the video. Because uh, I'm not sure if YouTube sometimes does or does not like suppress videos with outbound links in their descriptions. I'm not taking any chances. I want as many people to see this. So I will link you to the community post with this form on it in the description of this video. Okay, just so we're all clear on that. Uh, what do we got going on? So this is the first category. It's a big one. Okay, which by the way, um, I'm blurring mine out. But uh, we, I, I, I'm not collecting any email addresses. I'm just, you have to be logged in to fill it out to, as some sort of, you know, verification thing. Because we're only doing one vote per person. Okay, and you can't change your votes. Once you submit, that's it. So make sure you do it correctly. All right, no sad faces. Uh, the first category is just new entry. I painstakingly added every new book seven hero that got entered this year. Okay, this is all categories. This is mythics, legendaries, attuned, rearmed, ascended, normal, special, uh, instant demote, grail, everything is on this list there's a lot there's there's a lot uh what i'm going to suggest doing is using uh control f or you can probably find there's a little drop down in your phone if you're on mobile uh and then just search the name frankly uh which is why i put it here instead of a drop down um so that you can actually just search and mine of course is going to be raya there is literally uh, no shot, literally no shot, uh, that I, it, it wouldn't be Rhea, right? Uh, and not Cyril Rhea's intended to be clear. So, I'm voting Rhea for best favorite new entry, all right? The next category is here, all right? Uh, new feature. So, this can be anything they improved upon, uh, anything like a new game mode uh stuff like that so uh the options down here are things like focus charge uh arena summon tickets which i know doesn't seems like it's been around longer it's not uh attuned heroes and then seer snare which is obviously uh the book seven uh event type thing that we ended up getting um and again this is just book seven inclusive so stuff that dropped in december doesn't count Okay, just so everybody's on the same page with that. I'm gonna say, I honestly, 
it's between Outworld, Otherworld Bond and Focus Charge. I'm gonna go with Focus Charge. I'm gonna go with Focus Charge. Uh, the next one up is newly added Resplendent. So these are all the Resplendents that happened in the Book Seven phase. Uh, for me, there's really only one. Okay, there is genuinely only one. I looked at the list. I looked at them multiple times. Okay, it's got to be Nephany. There's no way that it's not. Okay, genuinely no way that it's not. It's absolute fire. Uh, remix. Favorite remixed hero. So any hero that got a remix this year. Uh, legendary or mythic. For me, it hit high very early on uh, with Altina. Altina is one that I've been waiting for for a while. Right? Uh, everybody else, a bit of a sleeper. This coming year. Boy. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Uh, I'm going to have so many remix types that I, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. But this book seven, you know, is pretty... For me, it was pretty tame. But I know that there's a lot of favorites in here. There's Mira, there's Dimitri, there's Plumera, uh, Krom. A lot of people love that. Edelgard, you know. So uh, have fun with deciding that one. <laughs> have fun with deciding that one. Uh, let's see. Favorite newly added hero refined. So this is any hero that got a refine. And what that refine was. The criteria can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, for me, personally, there is really just one <laughs> that I was mostly just excited about. Wrath almost made it in. Um, but it's definitely going to be Nagi. 100% it's going to be Nagi. Uh, there's no way that it's not. She was by far my most hyped up refine. Uh, and honestly, didn't really disappoint, which is uh, nice. That's really nice. And I like that. Uh, let's see. Favorite newly added banner. So these are all the banners that dropped. Um, this one was difficult. This one was difficult. Uh, there were a lot of great banners. There were a lot of, like, mid-banners. I think, ultimately, Turn of Fate, the Brave banner, that's the one, dude. That had to be the one. I think they handled that banner so well. I think all the Braves this year um, got treated very well. Uh, the art was all great. Everything was just so good about it. Um, and I know that a lot of people have difficulty with this one. <laughs> A lot of people are gonna have difficulty with this one because uh, there were some really good banners um, I think probably the top two for me were likely the fallen and the brave which is probably the most normy thing I could say uh, but it's true it's genuinely very true uh, so that is that is a uh, favorite new banner okay uh, the lith the <laughs> lithic the mythic legendary hero um, I know. I didn't break them up. I didn't say this was easy. Okay. I just said that I would do it. And now I, I have. Uh, I think. I think it's gotta be Alincia. Yeah. I think it's gotta be Alincia. Yeah. I think it has to be Alincia. Um, there's. Yeah. Yeah. There's no going back. It's got to be Alencia. For sure. Uh, she also got an Ascended. Which... <laughs> was a good year for Alencia. Uh, a favorite duo harmonized. Again, kept them the same. I just feel like breaking them up, there wouldn't... There would be, like, too few choices. Um, especially if you don't include, like, Ascended in with... Uh, you know, Rearmed and Attuned. So there'd be, like, three choices on one side. Um, overall... This was difficult. There were some good ones. There were some good ones. There was the Ira. That was hype. Uh, Awakening Tiki. Got one. Lind. Cordelia. Bro. So good. It was it was such a good year. Um, I think ultimately... Ultimately, I think I gotta go with Lind. I think I gotta go with Lind. 
uh, Lind getting a Kadane alt, which is really more of like her normal thing. I'm good with Desert Barons now. I'm totally fine not having another Desert Baron ever again. I got Lind. I'm happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm fine. That's going to be a controversial opinion for many, but that is genuinely how I feel. Uh, I'm going to go with Lind. Because not only did the pairing in that Harmonize really help me with, like, limited battles, because, like, my Thoratia game is weak. Okay, it's super weak. So I just have Lind come in <laughs> and fix it for me. Uh, it is no problem. Everything's great. Uh, let's see. The favorite newly added rearm to Tune Descended. Yeah. So, again, they're all together. As you can see, there's, there's not that many. We only had, like, three Ascended heroes this year. And by year, I mean book seven. What is that about? Like, genuinely. Um, really good options, again, for me. Tough. There was Alencia. Goaded. Right? Uh, we had Plumeria, who I like a lot. Um, you could even vote based on, you know, the weapon that came through. Like, that can be criteria for you. Ultimately, I gotta go with Sonya. I already picked Alincia as my favorite legendary mythic, okay? So I'm gonna go with Sonya here. I'm a Sony guy. Yes, hello. I'm one of you. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. I think... Yeah. 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 We can't have an Alincia sweep. As, as hype as that would be. Uh, newly added Grail Hero. So this is any grail option so anything from ghb anything from tempest trials uh that's that's what we got popping here uh tail to you was one for me for sure mm -hmm. um if they gave lucius a tome maybe i want lucius to have a tome and be the god he was always meant to be okay that's just where i'm at uh ultimately though I mean, y'all saw the short, probably. It's got to be Zephyr. I was, I've was i never been so happy outside of maybe Summer Alencia <laughs> for a hero to be free, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also got Cornelia. I was kind of I was kind of waiting on Cornelia to show up because I knew she was going to be a GHB. Like, she's just that vibe. Um, and by that, I mean a boss. <laughs> she's a boss enemy, so, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, Zephyr, for sure. 100% Zephyr. Favorite new art. So this is a new one uh, that I didn't really include in previous years. And again, it's it's literally everybody. It's literally everybody here. Um, and there were a lot. I had a lot of favorite characters that showed up. Okay? Like, a lot. And all the resplendents are also in here, too. So any resplendent art can also count. So it's any new hero and also any new resplendent art. Yikes. That's a lot, huh? Um, <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, ultimately, and this one might surprise you guys. I am going with Fallen Krom. Uh, Fallen Krom is pro like the fact that they straight ripped him out of Cypher and put him in Fae is so sick so sick i've been waiting on this for years okay and to finally have it in the game is so special um it, i felt very similar like uh with fallen ike when they did that which was also a cypher inspiration um it just makes me happy <laughs> it genuinely just makes me happy and i'm glad that it's here um and it also allows me to, to give some kind of acknowledgement to the Fallen Banner 2, which I hadn't done yet. Um, so I did try I did try and break things up, you know, as as nicely as I could. I tried to I tried to throw multiple love at stuff. Uh, the only thing I didn't quite hit uh, was Engage. Oh no, I did. I had Zephyr. Okay, cool. So I, I paid tribute to Engage as well. Um, yeah, I that's that's kind of what I did. And I try to I try to spread the love around a little bit you know so i i like that i like that honestly nephany's resplendent art very close it's very close but i think i think having fallen crom in there is something that is just so uh so epic that i can't not include it 
Um, this is going to be uh, a little player survey. So those were the 11 categories, right? Um, this is just kind of lets me know uh, and lets us know as a player base uh, kind of where you're at in terms of, uh, you know, things like uh, how, when did you start playing? For me, it was book one, right? Uh, which title is your favorite? God, I have to pick one. Um, you know what? If I'm going to make you guys pick, then I'm going to pick. I'm going to go Path of Radiance. I think i got to go Path of Radiance. Uh, what type of player do you consider yourself? So this is more like a frequency effort level type question. Um, there's occasional, if you're like a non-daily player, you just return for specific events or banners or characters. Uh, casual. Play regularly, not overly concerned with completing everything all the time. Uh, sweaty, which I think is where I would consider myself. I never miss a login. I complete every event in mode. Uh, and then there's also tryhards, <laughs> which, uh, you know, are the people who perfectly optimize everything, keep up on all uh, meta trends and modes and, um, you know, the, those, those, those people. <laughs> The effort putter inners. Um, what is your level of spending? Okay. Uh, so there's free to play. Never spend any money ever. Free to play plus. You spent some. Uh, has or have had Fay Pass uh, at some point or currently still have it. Uh, a light spender. Right. You regularly have Fay Pass and you just purchase like special packs like for Outbound World or, or whatever. Uh, medium spender, uh, so like renews Fade Pass, uh, right, and you also have up to like 150 spent on packs per month, um, outside of like the obvious, you know, seasonal stuff that we get hit with. Um, and I felt like 150 USD was like a good benchmark in terms of heavy spending, because I feel like um, for a medium spender, that's going to get you like two sparks, give or take. Maybe, maybe three if you're doing like full circles every single time. And so ultimately that gets you for the month, pretty much, like a little bit above and beyond. Um, and then obviously heavy spender, you buy everything <laughs> and you spend over 150 a month uh, on, on packs a month. Um, I, because I do content, uh, I, I live in this realm. Truthfully, in 2024, book eight, I'm going to bump down to this because uh, I feel like that's still a realm where I can do content uh, without... Because I'm... Are max merges cringe? I feel like max merges are cringe. <laughs> I feel like they're becoming cringe. And I just have issues with the game that, you know, I'm going to vote with my wallet because my words don't reach them. Uh, <laughs> but currently, for book seven, you know, where I currently stand, I, I am I am definitely what a heavy spender uh, would be considered. Uh, and then, do you plan to continue playing Fey? Um, we got some levels here, so you can say, uh, no, plan to stop in the future. Yes, only for specific events and banners. Uh, yes, casually or yes daily uh and i i do plan to continue playing daily uh because fire emblem is uh they they have a grasp on my nostalgia unfortunately <laughs> so that's where i'm at uh and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna click submit boom my fadies of 2023 book seven edition there you go uh like i said i'll link you to it uh, and please fill it out. Uh, and it, you know, the, the come together stream where we look at all the stats and whatnot of who got picked where, um, that'll be fun to go over. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, uh, and I will see you in the next one.